Hello myself, Sunil Ramakrishna here basically I am introducing myself. Myself basically the project manager, uh, my last resignation was as a project manager and I was working as a project manager basically. And uh, project manager comes software delivery head also basically you can say. And my email ID is basically Sunil R Nair 1201521 basically at the rate gmail.com Sunil R Nair S-U-N-I-L R N A I R one two zero one five two one at the red gmail dot com and my email address is, uh, this was my email address and my phone number basically you can say mobile number eight one two eight four five two zero seven eight eight one two eight four five two zero seven eight so like this basically the number is basically that is the mobile number you can say so that is my introduction and like this basically I have created lots of um, I have uploaded lots of videos also basically that what actually the software industry is how up to what level the software industries are reached and one example basically I have taken as a text box equal to thousand cities that up to what level the software industry basically are reaching and going to reach basically that also basically we I have introduced in the video basically in this basically I will take a little bit about the management stuff basically that is the management level stuff that is the uh, scrum and the uh, agile and the waterfall lots of people say that banking basically nowadays who use basically what the big level project basically use the waterfall only basically but the short duration project basically still uses the agile methodology because waterfall basically why they use basically waterfall because the banking level says that basically our plans basically are very clear basically we don't change our plans basically so if they don't change their plan basically then basically it's a good basically go for the waterfall basically because if you have a fixed plan basically that this is the roadmap basically of the project basically then you have to go with the waterfall methodology because method of waterfall methodology is the one of the best methodology for the fixed level project basically fixed level means this is the sprint the sorry this is the task this is the requirement start the requirement do the processing do the testing and then basically the finish the project and there is no in between gap and then there is there is no back level also stuff is back level means basically you are you created one uh, stuff basically then basically you don't have to look after that stuff basically after uh, you don't have to look basically back basically you can say one project is one module basically is completed so once completed basically sign of mail is already taken then basically you are not supposed to look into that project uh, that module again basically that is the waterfall basically. and uh, changes basically can't be done here basically because the data are fixed the roadmaps basically are fixed the way of the project is also fixed so basically there is no meaning of um, changing any projects basically uh, requirements and anything basically but in agile basically lots of changes basically happen but that is basically up to the limit level also basically you can say certain level of limits only basically you can do that that basically you can do in the proposal plan basically then proposal of the project basically when you for example there is one crm project one company requires that time basically you can send the proposal basically in that proposal basically you can clearly write that basically the if uh, you are giving the requirements and if you are doing any change request basically that time basically four to five change requests basically we can take after that basically uh, as in that basically four change requests basically he can take basically so if uh, he means company basically the company basically can take four requirements after fourth requirement basically that will be the chargeable requirements basically also you can say that so if uh, it's a char change request then basically it will be chargeable basically. so because if you are doing change request change request change request then basically the project will never get over basically so you have to draw the boundary basically that basically comes into the scope level plan basically that is the scope of the project basically you can say in project management plan basically there is one more one plan inside that basically that is called as a scope level plan basically in scope basically you have to define the boundary of the project basically that is this is the boundary and in within this boundary basically you have to work basically and within this boundary basically you have to work you can't basically cross the boundary and the boundary is basically four change request basically you can take fifth change request is if it is coming basically then basically it will be just chargeable basically. 
and the project cost will automatically gets increased because if uh, development cost will increase then basically the maintenance cost by default it's going to increase basically so you can just imagine basically the entire product basically is going to the entire requirement basically are going to be changed basically. requirement means the time level basically will change why basically. because the plan basically which was defined that was according to the current requirement basically. but the requirement has changed basically. that is the change request basically you can say so according to that basically but the banking level project basically never gives the change request why because they are fixed about the datas and datas are equal to projects basically that also you can say project means what actually one of the person you can one of the person basically ask the definition in one simple two word basically you can say that basically project are equal to set of datas and datas are equal to what future data past data and current data basically that is the project basically in the simple language basically if you say what actually the project is that is equal to data and data are equal to future level data past level and the current level data basically that is uh, that is the simple level of project basically that also you can say that basically comes to data science project basically nowadays basically the data science basically products basically are there for example i will take one example up to what level the data science has reached for example one person basically is uh, going to one shop basically he purchased the one jeans basically any jeans basically you can say so that data basically immediately reflect to the sales industry of the market basically they immediately gets the information then basically but that takes the time basically the data basically reaches the particular companies like this basically generally data get passed it takes the time basically but it reaches to the sales department basically and then does the sales department basically say that basically this person basically has purchased the this product basically so you can just imagine the data science to what level the it has reached basically so that is the example of the data science basically that is the best example of the data science so like this basically there are many products basically which are created and nowadays basically each and every software basically are uh each and every big level software company basically are trying to create the human needs basically that is the vegetables fruits oils petrols from the software basically tata group basically tcs basically tcs project basically contains tata steels basically so one of the product basically are delivering the tata steels data basically so you can just imagine basically the software industry basically has reached so the base of the base of the software company is what methodology that is the waterfall and the agile methodology and nowadays basically that's a change world basically and that basically agile methodology are used but in the long term project basically the waterfall methodologies are only used that is basically the banking level projects basically so next video basically we are going to see a little bit more about uh, my introduction basically this was also basically one of the my introduction basically you can say so in next video basically i will introduce myself more basically and mostly basically i have introduced myself in the videos basically and this is also basically one of the part basically of the introduction this is second level introduction part basically and then next third number basically we are i am going to take a little bit more about the introduction of myself